I'm a fat old. Looks matter. They matter. I just turned 40 this past March, and one of my biggest regrets is not realizing just how important looks are and how much your appearance matters in this world. Human beings are naturally superficial. It's a part of our biology. But anyway, being vertically challenged and uh, approaching my 40s, you know, in a couple months, I was standing in the mirror one day and I said, hmm, I can't be fat and short. I got to pick a struggle. <laughs> and so it was at that point, I said, I'm going to get my ass back in the gym. Shall we go to uh, number three? Number three. Yep, number three. Number three. Number T. T. What is it, T? What is video number three? Number Quecho. No, Quecho is not a word. Oh, how, how do you pronounce? What did she just say. How, how do you pronounce it? I forgot. What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> Tres. Three. Wait, hold up, hold up. What was I thinking? You're hold thinking up. of cuatro. Cuatro. That's four. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I had to think about it for a second. I was oh my getting God, this. Oh my God, y'all. Some listen, of my water. Listen, y'all. Bless her heart. I appreciate our <laughs> disjoint family uh, throwing that up in the chat. <laughs> Thank help, you, help, El help. Boogie. El Boogie had he had to put you in your place. All right, look what we got. Video number three. Looks matter. Accept uh, it and move on. Uh, uh, y'all ain't okay. gonna like this one. <laughs> they do matter. So let's they do matter. Play the video. Yeah, let's go. Because okay. I can't just be with somebody that it's I'm not physically attracted to. But I'm waiting to see what this uh, video is. Let's go. I'm a fat old black ass nigga. Looks matter. They matter. I just turned 40 this past March, and one of my biggest regrets is not realizing just how important looks are and how much your appearance matters in this world. Human beings are naturally superficial. It's a part of our biology. It's ingrained in us. We can't help it. We are biased toward treating people who look good better. It's just the facts of life. The faster you realize this and the faster you accept this, the better off you will be in the long run. There are a lot of aspects about yourself that you can't change, but the ones that you can change them as quickly as possible while you are still young and you have the energy, the flexibility, the agility, the time and the resources to really work on yourself and your appearance. I'm working on my stuff right now as we speak. I've had a number of health setbacks over the years, but I can tell you that <sighs> getting on social media and seeing all the reactions that I have gotten to my appearance, not that it has had a psychological impact on me in a way, because I already, I mean, I'm, I'm fundamentally aware of the fact that, you know, I'm overweight, but, but I think for me, it was kind of bittersweet just seeing the reaction because it's like, I, you just realize that as human beings, we just can't help but to be judgmental and to be superficial. And there's no use in trying to fight that. And if you really want to mitigate the stress of constantly worrying about your appearance, because it is a fixable issue for most people, for the vast majority of people, it's fixable. You just got to work on it. You just got to take the time, sit down, do your due diligence and put in the time and effort to really work on your appearance and how you want others to perceive you physically. That is now your personality. That's all. It's a whole different story. I'm only talk about, talking about looks in this particular context. So that being said, if you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, while you still have the energy, while you still have the time because you may not have kids and a wife yet, please work on yourself. And even after you have kids and a wife, still work on yourself. Work on yourself. Keep up with your appearances because people are going to judge you whether you want them to or not. So... It's just just facts of life. There's no use in complaining about it. There's no use in trying to, you know, make videos on TikTok, trying to get other people to, you know, rally against, you know, body shaming or we got to be more blah, blah, blah. No, just stop. There's no point. It is what it is. Looks matter. I mean, he made a point, but I'm not that shallow to just like, you know, <clears throat> Just look at somebody and just because they're overweight and be like, oh, yeah. okay, no, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I need to be physically attracted to you for me to okay. be in some kind of relationship. But 
at the end of the day it's like okay yeah you could be working on yourself physically but if you don't appease me physically in your face or let's just say personality i ain't giving you the time of the day yeah, i mean well first, it's been several men that i met all, that was like very attractive but very very their their character was horrible so it was a, like a complete turn off nah yep complete yeah. I, I mean like, why well, I, I at first i mean listen i don't talk about people appearances you know what i mean look i'm i am not a handsome motherfucker but I can take the gab. Beautiful, I, I, beautiful I, I, damn it. I, I, boy, let me tell you something. Boy, I'd talk your panties down. Boy. Yeah, hey, what? Yeah, hey, that boy right there. He was dropping some knowledge. I, I agree. I mean, there are some things that you can work on. Right. You know what I mean? If, if you don't have the looks, at least have the swag. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I ain't got the looks, but when I come in this motherfucker, <laughs> everybody knows. I'm in the building. Look, have that confidence. Yeah, no have that what. confidence. I'm in the building. They be like, right. oh, you ugly. Yes, confidence, I'm ugly. Confidence matters. First no of all, but I got a big jaw. If Clyde Winslow <laughs> don't take <laughs> his ass somewhere, there's no way in the world that he is younger than Michelle, Beyonce, and Kelly. It's no way. He's not forty. He must have. Oh, he must have. This. He. He definitely recorded this. <laughs> Clyde Winslow. Clyde Winslow got a chill. You know what? I believe him. He is out of pocket. Let me tell you something. I had this experience. This one guy. He told me to get on a date and app. You know. He was yeah. like, "All right, look. You know, you having a hard Some time." Some internet pimping. He said, "You having okay. a difficult time? You know, like meeting somebody that's like, you know of your caliber." He's like, "Get on a date and app." I got on that dating app. I was on it for two weeks. Everybody that was so-called my age looked like him. Yo, look, let me tell you something. Let me, they let me tell you something. old yeah. as hell. First of all, I black, said, oh, black no. don't crack. Women. Black black don't crack. If you see, Lowe's is in the, I'm, I'm in my 50s. But when I see some women in their 50s, I'm like, oh, my Lord, baby girl, you had a bad paper route. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, he, I'm talking. You were delivering the inquiry, and you remember the inquiry back in the day. Yeah, boy. Yeah. But, but as long as you take care of yourself, right? Especially your mental health. Mm -hmm. Take care of your body right. physically. You know what I mean? Know how to talk to people. Know know how to move. And you know what I mean? You in and out of these, you know, right there. Mm -hmm. You, I'm telling you, you're good. Listen, you're good. I am um, vertically challenged. <laughs> and so as time went by and you know being the young athlete that i was he said vertically challenged vertically yeah, challenged meaning like okay it, it, like short listen, I, uh, if hey, someone hey, say hey, you hey. short they'd be like this why well, well my twin don't say man what's your twin my dick <laughs> <laughs> so being vertically challenged as you know uh i'm I wouldn't weeks. even consider it a challenge. Why do you consider it a challenge? It's, cha it's a challenge. It's it seems average to me, bro. If you ask me, I'm 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 close, but I ain't I ain't all the way there. But anyway, being vertically challenged and, and approaching my forties, you know, in a couple months, I was standing in the mirror one day and I said, "Hmm, I can't be fat and short. <laughs> I gotta pick a struggle." <laughs> And so it was at that point, I said, I'm going to get my ass back in the gym. Yeah, I got to pick a struggle. I got to pick a struggle. And since the height when I can't change, because I'm not getting my kneecaps extended, or whatever that crazy stuff That's, you that's doing, what I'm saying. Like, it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just, I'm going to work on my physical. And so it's like, again, I know me, I'm a strong seven. And when I get my hair cut, I'm like 7.8. All right. I know this. He be getting his sexy so back, yo. to me. It's you like, can't yeah, let tell me work CJ on this part. When he get his hair let cut. me work on this part. And then, you know, they'll see me a little bit more. So my whole thing is it's the same thing. Like, mm -hmm. if you know where your struggles are. CJ okay? CJ gonna be on Patreon with his shirt off, y'all. If you yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forty two yeah. ninety nine. <laughs> but listen, if you know you got a couple uh like hot dog packets in the back of your neck. Get rid of them. Get he you some of these, uh, you know, some neck m m neck um, exercises. If you know you're a little heavy around the tummy, slow down on the meaty gravy. Uh, a little alcohol, a little bit less. Get you some mushroom yeah, coffee yeah, to get rid of the bloating. Let me tell you something. That mushroom coffee is the shit. I'm telling you. Yo. And I don't drink coffee, but listen, I'm just saying. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell, right right tell you right now. I'm telling you right now. That mushroom coffee works. It does. I need to try I was it. skinny fat 
and it took my stuff. It mm-hmm. took like all the bloating out. Oh, mm-hmm. I need to try that. Yes. That, yeah. Let me tell you, I ordered it and then I ordered it again. Okay. I got like two joints downstairs. Boy, that, that mushroom. I was like, oh shit, that shit really. Now I'm going to tell you right now. You in the bathroom? You will poop. <laughs> oh, like you never poop before. <laughs> but once it's in your system, Oh, you good? Well, I mean, will it take because I go I month on a monthly basis I go get a colon cleanse. So I mean, will it take place of a colon cleanse? Like I mean, hey, because I know I need I that's that's my struggle. Well, I'm gonna tell you this is like like I go to I go to and we talk about this so doing our air, but I go to the bathroom regularly because the shit works. That okay. mushroom coffee works. This all right, so. I need to try it then. You try, all right, try. So, so just get your get yourself together. Like uh, I'm not saying you gotta go out and become a bodybuilder or you gotta look like uh, AJ Brown. Like you ain't gotta do that. But I mean, again, if you if you wanna if you wanna you know show up a little bit different, show up a little bit different. Like, mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. and that's for men and women. Like, again. I am a big um, hater, if you want to call it, of them dumbass baby hairs. Leave that sh- stuff alone. Get your ass in the gym because we don't care about your baby hair. OK, but if you taking off your clothes and you unloading like a pack of biscuits, it's we like, wait, whoa, you didn't got on Spanx, 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 Clanks, Blanks, all that stuff. You got to come on. Just do your thing. I know females yeah. that literally, when they got their clothes on, they are two. Look, and then when you in the room with them and they take it off, it just falls out. They are twenty two. Oh Rasputia. God. They go yeah. from Kelly rolling to Rasputia. Damn. Quick. So what? Oh, you hear? <laughs> you think somebody got uh, sparklers and you know them little joints you throw on the ground? The little uh, like, I'm like the how hell? do you breathe in that crap? I know. They don't a, care. That's the song they be playing. They struggling, but they don't care. That's the song they be playing on the way to the man house. How yeah. do I breathe? <laughs> that, that's well, how no, I let's go to comment number one. So we got comment. Number one, people with low self-esteem praise good looks over personality. Life is beautiful. No. Stop. You don't think it's so? A, it's no. a combination of things. It's looks, it's character, it's personality. You know, I mean, once again, you know, CJ's biggest thing is marketplace. So, you know, but it's not just about looks. I, and I've already said that. It's not, but it's the initial attraction. Right. And we can't we can't get around that. So right. again, I don't wanna I don't want to uh offend anybody. But like if we just speak in facts, the girl Gabare Sidibe that played Precious, she's mm-hmm. not gonna get more looks than Kelly Rowland. It just is what it is. That's just factual. Nobody's like making that up or trying to hurt her feelings. It just is what it is. Kelly Rowland is more attractive. So she's going to get more looks up front. Now, again, if Kelly Rowland is an asshole or she got a bad personality or bad character, then afterwards, yeah, then it it might change. But initially, if they standing in the room and them two are next to each other, unfortunately, Gabrielle is not going to get as much looks as Kelly Rowland. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like, if you if you take care of yourself and you look good, cool, because there's some guys who don't like thin women there's some guys who don't like you know thick curvy women there's some some guys who prefer bbw but it's all according to how you package it so it's just being attractive up front you have to be because if not you're going to be at the back of the line you get past so comment number two unfortunately this is 10 times more true for women than it is for men t is that true what you mean? Like ten times more true than for women than men? Like that looks what? matter because I mean because you know men, I us think, men no. we really we I, I really mean, don't care how we look. Okay, so you know what? The then if that's the case, you need to answer that because I know I I know for me for as a woman, yes, like I've already said, I need to. It, you you got to be physically attracted to me, but you just said as a man that. You'll pass a woman that's that's physically attractive. So, I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for y'all guys. I'll say it like this. Think of this. So, if you see a, a guy and just say he his hands is all, like, dirty, he might look, like, muddy or whatever, he look, like, dirty. I'm, I'm, I'm going to automatically think he coming from work. Exactly. But if you see a woman in that same manner, she's a dirt ball. You see what I'm saying? So, it's different. How you see it, women will uh, uh, equate certain traits that 
they see in a man and be like, oh, he probably X, Y, or Z. If we see a woman and she look like she got stains on her shirt, she looking all disheveled and unkept, we're going to be like, oh, yeah, she she from the projects. I'm cool. Mm. And so it, it, there is a difference. M- women kind of see more on the, again, on the inner, they're more inner, more emotional, more like, okay, they don't really, they're not as surface level. Whereas men, we, it's like, if you own it from, the, like I said, from the rip, if you own look good, the majority of us is going to pass. It's going to be a, a hard yep. no. All right, so we go to comment number three. Yes, people are shallow, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and I've said is that. Is that already. true? Is that true? Yeah, I said that, and I said because I'm I'm not a shallow person. So you know, I'll give somebody a chance. Like literally, I, I could think of a, a, a guy I talked to before, and I'm like, oh, what, what, he's, what are you saying is <laughs> now saying I'm is, like, what the hell was wait, I thinking? I, I was about to ask you. <laughs> So did look, you get the ugly man some? So so he looked no, like Clyde Winslow? Uh, no. Oh, oh wait, hold on, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you ain't never given an ugly man You none? never hit a Clyde Winslow? You no. never gave an ugly man no, no goodies? No. I didn't hit a oh, couple. Oh, you were so fucking, wolf so, you so fucking selfish. Ain't nothing wrong with hitting somebody ugly. So you never hit no Clyde Winslows? No, I've never. You no. never gave an ugly man no goodies? See, y'all, y'all both asked me two different questions at the same damn time. So said CJ, Clyde Winslow, CJ, said, all right, all right, to, to uh, answer uh, CJ's uh, question. An ugly big man. C- 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 How about that answer both at the same C- time? To God answer damn. CJ's question, no, I did not talk to him. Um, he, The guy that, you know, a couple guys that was like, you know, on the heavier side. They were a little disappointed, and they end up being friend zoned. And to answer your question, most did I ever give an ugly dude? Did, some did you want to know? No, because I am. I am so like when it comes to that. If if I can't, <laughs> I didn't hit a couple booger wolves in my day. Sorry. Hey. Let me tell you something, man. Ain't nothing wrong I, with. I can't. Ain't nothing I wrong can't. with giving a little, 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 because little ugly, yeah, little it's something. Not, because it's like I. I can think of two. Ah, uh, yeah, I man. I can think of two girls I, right I, now. What? Right now that I hit that. What? Look, that looked like Shrek wife. Oh God! Now, let me, what? First Sorry. of all, Le- Viona. What's her name? Leona. She ain't ugly. She just got a big nose. No, it's Fiona. Fiona, that's right. Get it right. Look, this is, you know, you can tell it's been a while since I had a child, but. Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> so, T.Y. <laughs> says, I had one guy with, the, did she say a big dingling? Yes, hey, she did. Hey, you got to keep that for Patreon. And, he, <laughs> and, was, <laughs> and he was okay looking. Look, T.Y., we ain't going to get We ain't going to get into that. T.Y., that's right. That's Look, right. that's a whole nother discussion because we we can talk about that now. <laughs> so you so you did T-Y, it wrong. Ty said, Ty said, T-Y. I don't care how you look. I'm gonna do my business, and then you Let gotta go home. Me, hey, we gonna T-Y, call you instead we, of instead of pleasure P. We gonna call you pleasure T. Yeah, you was all about the pleasure. Huh? Let T hit the shit. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> what, what you about to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you about to get into? <laughs> what, you, what, what you about to get into? Because uh, you got to go home. <laughs> now, look, so was we at comment number three? Did yeah, we yeah that was yeah. Yes, we did. So listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. And subscribe. Tell us what you think. <laughs>